Salute to all my people. You have the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about singer T-Pain. Now, T-Pain um, has a controversial statement or, you know, something that he said is circulating around social media right now. Some people agree. Some people disagree. He was asked, how could white people properly, you know, celebrate Black History Month? You know, and his answer was white people need not to celebrate it at all. Just make us a part of history. Now, me personally, I want to unpack what he said. I want to conversate about it. And I want to read what you guys have to say in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we got a goal of getting to 20,000, man. So subscribe right now if you haven't already. Um, but to dig into what T-Pain was saying, me, in my opinion, um, he expanded further. And I'll give you guys the clip. But, you know, I, I agree that, you know, we shouldn't only celebrate black history only in February. You know, it's so many people that's monumental to the world that we see today, you know, whether they want to give us credit or not, you know, as so many of our ancestors have painted this world that we see. It's so many things that's created by blacks. It's so many things in this world that, you know, without us, the world wouldn't look the same. And I think they understand that. I think they get that. I think they know that. The problem is, you know, when you only give a culture or people one month and you give them the shortest month of the year, a lot of people start to raise awareness. Or a lot of people start to feel as though, you know, it's like a backhand um, a backhand compliment. It's almost like, okay, yeah, y'all part of here. We'll give y'all this month. But all the things that was built off the backs of slaves, look at the history of this country. It's no way you can look at blacks and only give them a fraction of um, the year. You know what I'm saying? This is something that should be celebrated. Or these are people, we are people that should be celebrated on an everyday basis. You know, he said, just put us down in history. Don't just give us only one month of the year. That's what I do agree with. Though it's other things I don't agree with, uh, we'll dig a little bit deeper into it. But I do agree that we should be a part of history. We should be celebrated every day. When someone asks you how could white people properly celebrate Black History Month, you know, it's almost like, you know, why should you have to ask that question? Why are we questioning how should y'all properly celebrate it? You should celebrate it the same as we do and just be grateful for all the things that the blacks have done previously and currently to help this country move forward and just celebrate the the existence of black culture african-american whatever you identify as you know celebrate them in general the same as you do all the other whites that you love same as you do a bill gates the same as you do you know uh fauci the same as you do all these other people that's currently living and you think the world of you know what i'm saying do that for the ancestors of you know our any, people any now. insight all right for how white people can can properly celebrate black history month the right way. Um, stop celebrating. I don't think we should celebrate Black History Month. I think we should just have history. I don't think it's we don't. I, with the, they overshot it. We don't want our own shit. You separating us again. <laughs> we want to be part of history, not just one month of it. Like we want to be part of history. No, don't celebrate one month, but I'd rather everybody stop celebrating that shit and just let us be part of history and not just y'all. Y'all get paid attention to for this. this the shortest month of the year. <laughs> hey, hey, 28 days, that's true. You know, man, I agree with the with the sentiment of what this brother was trying to say. You know, I don't agree with, you know, we should stop celebrating the period. You know, um, I think that they should celebrate us more or celebrate just the ancestors, the people that help pay things forward. They should celebrate it more, you know what I'm saying, more around the year, more so than just highlighting we'll give y'all this only in February again. Because what he's saying is, you know, in that point, then you're separating us again. One thing about, you know, the, the African-American culture, black culture, one thing about us, our people, we have always been separ separated. You know, it used to be, you know, you couldn't drink out this fountain because they drink out of that fountain. You know, it's, it's a separation thing. So when you're giving someone um, the shortest month of the year, someone could look at it as though you separate them again. You're saying, okay, we'll give y'all that month. But y'all can just look and honor those people that month. You get what I'm saying? So in a small form, if you dig a little bit deeper into what the brother was saying, he's saying it's still a separation. And it's true if you just want to look at it from that perspective, from that eye lens. You know what I'm saying? But when you really, really dig deeper, you know, me personally, I feel like it's a great time. Though it's the smallest month, I wouldn't say get rid of it, period. I would say, yeah, honor them. Honor the ancestors in that month. But moving forward, honor them every chance you get. You get what I'm saying? I look at it as though... It's great that they gave us something. They didn't give them 40 acres and a mule. You know what I'm saying? They gave them a month. Okay, they gave them the shortest month of the year. Gave us the shortest month of the year. Okay, we're not going to erase that either. We're going to celebrate our people for February and moving forward. Any chance you get, shed light on those to help pay things forward in our culture and our communities. Because as we all know, most of these things that you see around here, it came from the backs of our ancestors. It came from those with, uh, of that free labor, those, you know, those that help pay things forward. The country that you see even being able to share certain, you know, um, vibrations as other cultures. It came from the ancestors of our people or on the backs of our people still.
Right or wrong, you get what I'm saying? Because if they didn't march, if they didn't protest, if they didn't stand out, if they didn't risk their life, if they didn't put their life on the line, many people never made it to see the things that we see it today. Though it's a lot of still, it's still a lot of oppression. It's still a lot of things that we battle in our communities, um, dealing with police brutality and just other things in general. You know, the government put strategically placed laws in place that make sure it keep us oppressed, to keep our people oppressed. You know, where they, you know, where they come down in our communities and, you know, uh, lock up our black children, you know, and give them so much time. But if it's the same thing for a white child, they would say, you know, uh, he was a great child. He was a, you know, he was an honor roll student. You know what I'm saying? He just made some mistakes in his life. But our children is not able to make those same mistakes before they're given a whole bunch of time before they, you know, basically throw their life away in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say with T Pain, I think it's a it's a, it's a, a deep statement. It's a great conversation to have, but you know, those are the type of conversations that America don't want to have. You know, they don't want to have those conversations that say, you know, we're so much more important in one month. You know, let's talk about. The people that helped build this country as you see it today, those nice cribs y'all stay in, those nice neighborhoods y'all stay in. A lot of that is in existence because of the backs of the same people that you only want to give the shortest month of the year. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, we got to stop looking at white people. And this is my opinion on a deeper level. We got to stop looking at white people or, or whatever culture of people and saying, you know what, y'all should give us more than this or y'all should. We have to start taking back what belongs to us. You know what I'm saying? It's too many times we sit around and we say, man, hey, well, y'all, well, y'all, let's hold a sign. Let's march. Well, y'all, well, y'all, you know, see our lives and lives and tell us that our lives matter. And, you know, we, we want validation from people and studies saying, you know what, we demand this. And we don't care if you don't give it to us. We take this. You know, we take what belongs to us in a way. You know what I'm saying? We take um, respect. We, 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 we demand respect. You know, we demand um us to be treated as the same as others until we collectively come together as one it's hard for us to ask others to respect us when we don't even respect ourselves at times you know look how many times in our community in our poverty stricken areas you know somewhere today and it's sad to say somewhere today uh a black child a black man a black boy a black woman you know it would be domestic violence to our women somewhere in america and it would be a black man put his hands on a black woman it would be a life loss from a black child, from another black person, a black man by another black person, a black woman by... No, we have to hold ourselves accountable. So as we come together as one collectively, we can demand what we want and stand on what we want collectively as one. You get what I'm saying? Until we, as long as they know that they can divide and conquer, as long as they know that they can continue to put your favorite celebrities in front of you and push their agendas, as long as they know that, you know, we can continue to, you know, um, depict different things and, and, and sway near it, as long as they know that they can continue to do that by our people to our people, they will always be in control because we have to love ourselves, love thy neighbor. You know what I'm saying? I have to protect your children, knowing that when I turn my back, your, your best interest is of my children as well. You protect mine as I protect yours. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You get what I'm saying? And build a build a village or build a community of people that love ourselves first. You know, one thing about I learned about Mexicans, one thing I learned about Chinese people, you know, it ain't very often that you go to a Chinese restaurant and see a black person working. It's not very often that you go to a Chinese restaurant and see anybody working, a Jamaican working. You, you, you really just don't see it. You know why? Because they love their people. When you go to a Chinese restaurant, it's all Chinese people working here for the most part. When you go into a Mexican neighborhood, it's all Mexicans in that neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? When you see a Mexican on the roof, it's all Mexicans up there on that roof together. You know, they building together. They buying each corner of a neighborhood. You know, they, they buy that ran down house, put a new roof on it, build it up. They buy that house on that corner, this house on this corner, this house on this corner. Because once you buy the corners of the neighborhood, then you can work yourself in the middle and take over the neighborhood. You know, collectively, we need to understand this. We need to understand our values. So when I see T-Pain say that, you know, they need to celebrate us more, uh, celebrate us in general, I agree with that wholeheartedly. But what I don't agree with is you saying, um, you know, we need to get rid of Black History Month because I feel like... At that point, they're using you as a prop in the same sense because, you know, look how many times we've heard a lot of these mayors, a lot of these people that's running for president, a lot of these people that's, you know, uh, wanting to be at the forefront. Look how many times they said how they want to get rid of Black History Month. You know, you saying that and a lot of people standing behind you just give them all the fuel they need to say, you know what, yeah, you're right, let's go ahead and get rid of Black History Month. But they still are never look at us the same way you're hoping that they do. You're hoping that when they get rid of Black History Month, They'll just celebrate us all the time. No, when they get rid of Black History Month, they'll never celebrate us again.
You know what I'm saying? And that's just in my opinion. So be careful what you say. Um, I can appreciate where you're going with it, but at the same time, be careful the things that you're inserting in the process of trying to put your message across because at the end of the day, you're in an industry where, you know, a lot of you guys are prompts. Most of you guys are prompts. And so it'll start making me question, okay, I can see where you're going with it, but at the same time, you know, why would we get rid of Black History Month? You know, why would, you know, they didn't give us 40 acres in the mule. It's the shortest month of the year, but it's an opportunity for us to, us, we got to quit worrying about how can they celebrate us? How can we celebrate us? This is our time to say, you know what, no matter what goes on in this country, we're going to celebrate our people. We're going to love each other. We're not going to kill each other, at least in this, at least in the month of February, at least in Black History Month. Can we not get no murders? Can we not get no, you know, uh, assaults, you know, uh, abuse to, you know, our people? Can I love you as you love me as a brother, as a sister, as a leader, as a comrade? That's all I want to say, man. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to go together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about T-Pain saying, you know, we need to be celebrated or white people need to celebrate us every day, every month, every chance they get versus just this one particular month. And a spinoff of that, do you believe that Black History Month should be erased? As this brother say, he believes Black History Month should be erased. Each one teach one. Y'all know where I stand. I pray for you all. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment below and let me know what you think. Each one teach one. Love, respect,